I'm really glad to, to be here uh, talking to you. I've watched the four or five first episodes of, of the show. And yes. one thing that really interests me about your approach to, to the show is that in the dropout, you play a real person and yeah. not any person, but someone who's undergoing a criminal trial right now. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> which was your approach to, to this character? I think this went for Amanda as well. We both felt that when we approached our characters, um, you know, from it, from because when you start, it's at a distance, yeah, and you get closer and closer and closer. Hopefully, I mean that's the, that's that's the idea, you know, that you actually get <laughs> intimately close with these people. And uh, we had to make a decision not to have any judgments, not to have any preconceived notions of what we believe uh, how, to, how to define morality or conventional morals, yes. Uh, we couldn't have that at all, otherwise we wouldn't have been free to create these people as human beings. Yeah, and the fact that Sunny is still being prosecuted has made it harder for you, like not having the full picture, the, the full story, but to have to, to grasp something ongoing. Well, we were also very lucky that uh, Elizabeth's trial was going on as we were shooting. So events were happening in real time that actually influenced uh, Liz Merriweather with the script. I mean, these text messages came out that were back and forth yeah. between that she actually uh, incorporated into the script. You know, and those those are real texts. They really said those things to each other. You know, and uh, that was very exciting because it kind of. It confirmed us in this sinecure of where we were coming from in terms of decisions we made about where they were in terms of the intensity of their relationship with each other, what bound them together. And uh, it was nice to have that confirmed with the texts because, you know, if you're making a gamble about where you think the characters are, it's a, it is, uh, it's a risk, you know, and to find out that, oh, we, we might be on the right track here. This is, this is good because that that relation between Sunny and, and Elizabeth is in, in the core of the show. It's, it's essential to, to understand what happened in, in Theranos and, and with them. So how was it to develop with Amanda Seyfried that complicated and a lot of time abusive uh, relation? If a relationship is unbalanced um, in some way, then it opens the door for all sorts of like toxic behaviors uh, by both partners, which one can use to undermine the other at any given time, uh, which, you know, which I think you might be able to see in the show, um, you know, uh, what might be described as, to use today's terminology, microaggressions, you know, to some extent, you know, um, and yet that it seems that they are bound together and, uh, it's a relationship at the same time the paradox is is that they feel safe together so do you think that there's something sin sincere about the the relation or is it or is everything built on lies as much as they are, are capable of let's say that <laughs> <laughs> and that's a lot to say yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see this is the thing it's like you know when when i said you can't have judgments it's like you know, you and I, I mean, you know, I'm not presumed about your private life, but certainly, you know, in, in my life, it's like re relationships have, have been very questionable uh, in terms of what, you know, why is it that you're with this person? Yeah, in one of the kind of trends in, in television at the beginning of this year has been the release of shows about the rise and fall of a startup entrepreneurs the dropout yeah. is one of them. You also have Super Pumped with Uber um, and We Crashed with We Work. So, do yeah. you think that these are the, the poster childs of the new American dream? That this is the people that we need to to know to understand the state of, of our world? I don't think it's anything novel in history. It's you know we've we've had the great robber barons of the 19th century, and uh, Roosevelt uh, broke up. Uh, um, the monopoly of certain companies, I think, in the 1930s. 
Yeah, so we've 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 come across these people before. Um, I think Bob Dylan describes them as early Roman kings. You know, these so-called, I mean, for want of a better term, entre entrepreneurs. Yeah. I mean, should they re I, I think what our show at least raises the question is like, should these people have untrammeled power, wealth and influence over how we live our lives? Yeah, because one thing that entrepreneurs from uh, centuries uh, before us is that the current entrepreneurs have a lot of influence, like they can have an influence in, in a moment. So do you think that the nowadays society is too eager to believe or more eager to believe in these people who claim uh, that they can change the world? That, that's a good question. But I think once again, uh, if I may, it, it has historical antecedents because, you know, whether it's the 14th century or the 21st century, people, humans are credulous. They want to believe. You know, and that I think that goes to politics and religion too. Yeah, and this this kind of story that is so, so rich and has a, a lot of characters, uh, I think it's best told here in, in television. But maybe uh, not so many years ago, it would have been made as a biopic in in a movie. So, how much do you think that the the TV industry has changed? I mean, since you were a part of Lost, so since 2004. In terms of the streaming services, perhaps like with this project, you were able to operate, say, without censorship in terms of like the networks, because I think in order for something genuinely subversive to come through, um, the, the writers have to have a lot of freedom. They can't be constrained if you want to do a good piece of art. That's for one. Again, you know, I don't know how else to express it. If you want to do a good piece of art, then you have to allow writers that kind of freedom. Yeah, now you have more freedom, but you also have a huge amount of competition. Like it's almost impossible to, to stand out nowadays because there are like hundreds of shows every year. So yes. what's the key to, to get the attention of, of the public? right now i'm, I'm old-fashioned because i'm an old person you see i don't actually want to be so uh, i i have the fervent if forlorn hope that it's still uh it's it's good performances and great writing um because i be believe that's eternal it doesn't matter what the form or the medium is um and i have to say just because uh we have the luxury of eight eight hours uh, we can explore these themes with a nuance and attention to detail that I don't know. I honestly don't know if you'd get in, in a movie. In, in, in terms of like, the, just say the relationship yeah. between Elizabeth and Sonny, the way it was explored uh, uh, when, they, when she was 19. I, I don't know if you'll get that level of detail in a movie just because you don't have the time.